I mentioned in the last video we were going to continue along with events, but we're going to take a break from events. We'll come back to that subject later on. But I want to talk about a really, really big subject in JavaScript and something we haven't covered yet. And that is how to create new elements from scratch. Now, previous to this video, we've sort of been updating existing elements. We've changed the style or done various things to the element. In this video, we're actually going to create an entire new element from scratch. So what I've done here is I've created an HTML page. You will recognize this from my CSS layout series. We use this code and we're going to reuse it again. And so as you probably guessed, I am also using a CSS file. As usual, I will put all of the code in the information section of this video. So I'll put in the CSS code, the HTML code, and of course the JavaScript code. Now, as I said, creating new elements is a really big subject in JavaScript. It's something a lot of JavaScript developers do, and it makes your pages incredibly interactive. And what we're going to do here is let's say that we have this web page with these two articles here on the Battle of Kanai, and we don't want to flood our page with another battle, but maybe our user wants to read about another battle. So we'll give them the option. We don't want to clutter our page too much with battles. Maybe we want another section down here that they may want to move on to but let's say they want to read about another battle we'll give them the option to do that and so they'll click on this button and a new battle will enter here a new paragraph that they can read about so we're going to use the on click event and as you know by now when they click on this button this JavaScript function new paragraph will get executed and it will create a new paragraph so what we're going to do is put in the JavaScript code now so let's go ahead and exit out of our browser and let's go ahead and start filling this in. And now this is where we're going to introduce a new method, and that is the create element method. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is create a variable. We're just gonna call this element. And this, of course, will be the new element that we're going to create. And we're going to use the document object, of course. And here is where we are going to specify our new method, and it is create element. And actually, you know what? Let's resize this a little bit here. Just give us a little bit more space to work with there we go so we've got our create element method and now we need to pass in one parameter and that will be the element tag that we want to create in this case it's a paragraph so all we need here is p we don't need to put a closing tag or an opening tag the create element method will do that for us so all we need to do is specify the type of element that we want created and in this case again it's a paragraph so we put our p tag there and that's all we need so this will create our paragraph element and it will be stored in our element variable. Now what we need to do is create a variable to hold our div. And over here in this HTML code, the div is main. And I'll show you that right here. If we go up here, here is our div that has an ID of main. So we've done this before. We want to go ahead and grab this so that we can actually attach our element to this div. That's what we want to do. So we're going to create another variable and we can call this main. And then we're going to use our get element by ID method. We've done that many times now. So we'll just put that in here. And the ID we're going to grab, of course, is main for our div. So there we go. We've got that. Now what we need to do is append the paragraph element that we created here to our div right here. So we need to use another method. So first, of course, we want to specify the main object that we just created. So we're going to do main dot, and then we're going to use the append child method. And in there, we're going to pass in element, our element object that we created that holds our new paragraph element. Whoops, I put a star there. We don't want that, obviously. And we close it out. So what's going on here, it's really a two-step process, if you noticed. First, we need to create the element. And again, in this case, it's the paragraph element. Then we need to go ahead and use the get element by ID method to get our div. And then we need to use that object that we created, that is our div, and attach our child element to it, which in this case is the paragraph element. So remember, in the hierarchy of HTML, everything's about a child element and parent elements. So this div here would be the parent of all these elements inside of the div. And we've got an H2, that would be a child element. The 
paragraph here. This is a child element. So all we're doing is adding another paragraph down here. We don't have to specify the position actually because it will automatically add it after the last element, which in this case is this paragraph element right here. So our new paragraph element will actually be added past this paragraph element. And it is a child of this div. And so that's why we use this append child right here. We have to append this as a child to the parent element, which is right here. So this is the child element. This is the parent. We use the append child to append it to the main. Hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and save everything up here. And let's load up our web page and see what we get. And we're going to hit this and nothing. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute. How come something didn't show up here? And that's because we didn't add any text, right? We've just got an empty element. And that's fine. Maybe later on you want to put some text in there, but we didn't put any text in here. And that's actually another process. So it's actually a three-step process. Now we need to actually create the content. And we do that through something called a text node. Now let's bring up this HTML diagram right here. This isn't representative of what I've got in this HTML document, but imagine there's a, a div here. I didn't put that in here. And these are all the child elements. Everything within this HTML diagram is considered a node. Everything. So the elements are considered nodes. The attributes that might be inside those HTML elements, that would be a node, an attribute node. And there's actually a third type of node, which is a text node. You don't see it under here, but it would be also in this hierarchy. So the text that's contained in each one of these paragraph and H1 and H2 elements actually has a node. So we would have that right here. If I had it listed, it would be a text node under here, a text node under here, a text node under here, and a text node under here. So those are the three main nodes that you need to worry about. The element node, and we know what elements are, the body, the head, the paragraph. And then attribute nodes, we know what attributes are. Those go inside the HTML element. We're not going to deal with the attribute node, but that's a second type of node. And then the text node, which we are going to deal with. The text is a node. And then again, if I had that listed here, it would go right below each one of these HTML elements. So that's a node. So just remember the key to this, everything is a node. And then further, nodes have a parent-child relationship, just like the HTML hierarchy. So this element node right here, this paragraph element node right here, is actually a child node. Well, at least in this diagram, it's a child node of the body node. But if we had our div here, it would be a child node of the div. And so the text node is actually a child of the paragraph node. And you actually can't go any lower than that. A text node actually can't have a child. So that's about as low as it goes. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to add a text node to this element node, this paragraph element that we created. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do is create our text node. So we need to create a variable, and we'll just call that text. And we'll use our document object again. And the method we're going to use is create text node. And then here is where we get to put all of our nice text. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this in here. And there you can see we've got all this nice stuff. The battle of Salamis was fought between an alliance of Greek cities and the Persian Empire. Something like that. Okay, so we've got our text node created, and we put in the text that we want to be held in this node. Now, we're not done yet. Remember, I said this is a node, and we need to attach this node to this paragraph node, right? This is going to be a child of this paragraph element node. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to use our element up here that's holding our paragraph element, and we'll just say element and we're going to use our append child method again. And now we're going to specify our text node, which is right here. And we'll just specify text. And there you go. This should all work now. And uh, you know what? We didn't need equal signs here. I apologize. That was not necessary. And so let's go ahead and launch this up in Chrome. And now if we hit this button, we should get a new paragraph here. And we didn't, so I made a mistake. Sorry. Uh, let's take a look here. Boy, I hate when this happens. This is, by the way, this is a good debugging session. Let's just see what we've got here. And I'm missing a semicolon. That will get you every single time. Now let's see if this works. Okay, well, let's go ahead and launch this. And so we should get a new paragraph here if this works correctly. And it still doesn't. All right, so what is the problem here? Oh, boy.
and let's see here oh I see the problem this needs to actually be green you know what when you hit enter here when I when I hit enter here to fit this in the screen it actually won't recognize these uh, return keys so we need to actually get rid of those and let's actually just maximize this whole thing and we'll get this back to green this is why it's good to have IntelliSense and we'll go over here and there you can see it's green now and now this should finally work so let's go ahead and save this and these are the little nuances of uh, JavaScript by the way so let's go ahead and save that and uh, let's go ahead now and run this in Chrome and now finally I think this will work there we go we got our new paragraph now of course we probably want a header right because this after all is a new paragraph so that's what we're going to do in the next video we'll create a new element so we'll actually be creating two new elements now when we hit this button see you guys in the next video